so hello guys welcome to another video today we are going to make this night mode switch toggle button so as you can see that with the switching this toggle button we are in the night mode and there is changing background as you can see and also the font color is changed to the white and in this video i will make it to show how it is working and if you want to see more video like this subscribe the channel and let's enjoy the show so hello guys as you can see that here is my html file and here is my css file so in the html file let's create a boilerplate and let's give it a title of night mode and in the body let's get a div with a class of container and in this div let's create another div with a class of our night mode let's say button and in this div I will have an input so in this input I will have a checkbox actually so type will be checkbox and also let's create a class with the checkbox and also let's create an ID with the name of night mode and for this input let's get a level actually and in this level let's say for night mode and the class will be about level and in this level let's create a icon so for the icon we need to add our font or some so let's grab the font of some CDN font of some CDN so let's get the font of some CDN from the CDN JS and let's paste it here so I save and now we can create our icon so let's create an icon of moon so let's get a font of sum and f a moon so it will give it a moon icon and also let's create another sun icon so it will be a sun icon so let's also have another div with a class of blob uh, that will be the blob indicator so that's end for the level and after this level let's create another div with the class of info and here let's create some content so for the content I will basically create a h1 so this because this is a demo so let's create hello world if I save and open it with live server so as you can see that here it is all the things we added so let's also link our style sheet so link will be about style.css so in the style sheet let's style the all other things so first of all let's remove all the unexpected gap so padding will be about zero and margin will be also zero and box sizing so box sizing border box and if I save and you can see that there is no unexpected gap so after that let's go to the container and as you know we have to make it height of 100 bh and width of 100% and let's give it a flex box so our display will be flex and justify content will be about center and also align items will be center because we want our content in the center 
so that's why we used flexbox here so let's go to the level so level for the level the background color actually will be the black and here let's say display will be about flex and let's say height will be about 30 pixel and border radius 50 percent so actually border radius 50 percent so that will make a rounded corner so if i save as you can see that that's the our level so as you can see that it's now in circle because we did not give it a width so let's give it a width of actually 60 pixel so that will be fine so that's it so here what you need to make it 50 pixel actually for the 50 pixel it will make the rounded corner as you can see for the 50 percent actually it will make it circle so after that so let's go to the display flex and just uh, justify content center and align items also center so if i save so we can't see it because the level now in under this one so what i can do is actually here instead of center we can say a space between so that all the level will go a space between and after that let's go to the and position will be relative and so that we can position the icon so position will be relative and let's say padding will be about 0 and 15 pixel and transition because we will animate it and for the animation so that we have a smooth animation we need to use the transition so 0.5 second is in out okay and let's say also cursor will be pointer and that's it so if i now style the icon so what i need to do is i need to say level under the level there will be icon of fm1 sorry as a moon so uh, here i will say color will be so let me grab the color actually so it will be actually white color so i and also let's say the level as a moon as a night so sorry as a sun actually so if a sun will be let's grab the color also so it will be a yellow color for the sun so let's say color it will be yellow color now you can see that we have this two icon so in the blob what i can do is that so let's actually grab the blob with the class of blob and here what we'll do is position will be absolute so as you can see that the position is absolute now and here so if i now here increase the width let's say 80 pixel now you can see that there is some space so if i say 100 so no matter how the width will be there will be a space between them not around them so that's fine is looking so after that let's go to the style to the blob so left will be let's say in default there will be nothing and also in the blob let's say it will be in 50 percent left and width will be also the 50 percent of our full level so let's say width will be 50 percent and let's say height will be about 50 percent also sorry not 50 percent it will be 100 percent height so if i save now we can't see it because there is no background so let's say background will be about white now you can see that here is the blob actually so we can't see that now because 
the block color and the background color is the same properly we can see it so if i remove the white and make it a random color like that now you can see that that's our blob so what i need to do is now we need to set the border radius as same as our level border radius as you can see that the level border radius is 50 pixel so let's make the 50 pixel here so that's looking perfect for now and let's say that so by default we set left will be 50 percent means by default the block position will be there so so when we will click the block position will come there and it will be checked so now you can see that we can see the checkbox so let's hide the checkbox actually so how can we hide it so because we can grab the checkbox with the class of checkbox and if i say checkbox will be opacity zero so let's say position will be absolute so that will actually remove it from the hair so now as you can see that we have all other things so let's remove this content down there so how can we do that actually we have a class of info for this text so let's grab it so info let's say it will be display block and let's say padding will be not padding let's say margin chop will be about let's say 50 pixel and here you can see that we displayed it flex sorry not there here as you can see that you can see that we displayed it flex in the container and what i need is now we can say flex direction will be column and that's it so for now it's fine so now let's do some functional things so let's remove this blob from here and there so for that what i need to do is i need to go to the checkbox and if says checkbox is checked what i need to do is i need to grab the level and also the blob inside the level and set its position to the left zero so let me explain so as you can see that in the blob the position is now left 50 percent means it's in the right now as you can see so when i will check it means i will click it so it will change its position to left zero so as you can see that it's changing its position so it's happening so quickly so what i can do is i can set a transition here so let's say transition will be 0.5 second is all so now you can see that it's happening with a smooth transition so also let's change the background color which is you can see that by default is black so i want to change it on click so let's also come here and say checkbox checked so it means if the checkbox is checked then what i need to do i need to change the level background color so background color so let me copy the background color and paste it here and now if i refresh now you can see that that is by default black background color and if i click it the background color is changing so that's fine so i think we should give it something like that or whatever you want okay so that's fine so toggle button is working fine so let's also give it a border so that it look a little bit nicer so let's say border will be 2 pixel solid 
and let's say it will be black yeah it's looking fine now so let's make it functional so for that what we need to do is we need to add a javascript here so type will be text slash script which is the javascript so in this tag let's grab first of all the checkbox so how can we do that we can do it easily by saying that document dot query selector and query selector so for the query selector we can select it by the checkbox class which is we can see that we give it here so what i can say checkbox and here I will add event listener so in this event listener the event will be the change so so in change we will fire a function actually so here what I need is I need to select all the element which we want to change with the night mode so let's give it them color so let's say I will change the container container background it will be dark background when I change it to the night mode so let's give it a class of night mode available night mode avail able okay so let's also I want to change the color of this font so let's come here and let's also give it this class so that so what i'm saying that so this div will have a change when i switch to the night mode and also in this div we will have a change when i switch to the night mode so basically i am giving them a class and here let's collect all the elements by this class so document dot query selector Query selector all actually so that we will grab the all element so the query will be this class as you can see so let's copy this class and paste it here and what I need to do is I need to loop every element so for each so let's say element will be and for every element I want to add the class another class which will be the night or anything what you want so class list dot toggle actually so toggle night so that's will be it so if I come here now and go to the inspect element and here you can see that and here if you notice in this night mode available and you can see that this div have night mode available and this div has night mode available class so when i change it now you can see that there is also another class which is night and actually it is toggling means when i change it is toggled with night class so that's it so let's come to the style and make the style so what i need to do i need to change this container background with the switching of night mode so what I need to do so I need to come here and say that container with a class of night mode so this style will fire when this container will have this night mode class okay so what I say the background color will be about so let me copy the color and paste it here so if I save now you can see that when I switch it there is a night or dark so let me change it a little bit darker so if I save now you can see that we have this dark so you can set any color so I'm setting this color actually so let's also change the font color because this is not looking nice so in this font as you can see that in this so this is the div where the font is so what I can say is info with the class of night so whenever there will be a night class with this info because you can see that this is the info div and 
whenever there will be a night class this style will be applied so let's say the font color will be about sorry not font size actually the color will be white and if i save now you can see that now if i come here and refresh now you can see that the change is happening and that's it you can style anything as you want that's up to you and that's for our little video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like that don't forget to subscribe the channel and let us know what kind of video you want next and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kuda hafiz